Hello, today I want to show you guys uh, what options you have to play your own mp3 music in the Kona Electric. Um, there's four ways to play your music in the car and uh, if you like your own music like I do, um, it's really good to know what options you have. So, um, the first option is to just put it on an mp3 player and uh, hook it up with an aux cable into the aux input into the car. It's the easiest way to do it. You can use an mp3 player or you can use your phone for that. It doesn't matter. The second option is to just hook up your phone most likely or if you have a Bluetooth compatible MP3 player, hook that up to the phone and uh, play it that way. The third option is uh, you can use a thumb drive, put your MP3s on that, plug it into the USB port and the car will detect them and play them immediately. And the fourth option is to put them on your phone use an Android Auto or Apple CarPlay compatible app, hook your phone up to the USB port and play your music that way. So advantages and disadvantages. For the aux port method, the pros are that you can use any player or any app on your phone if you use your phone. And also your USB port stays open, so you can still use your phone for um, Android Auto or Apple CarPlay navigation. Disadvantages are that if you want to change tracks or something like that, you have to fiddle around with your phone uh, and you're getting distracted from the road. Another disadvantage is that you have two volume controls on your phone or mp3 player and in the car. The Bluetooth version, the pros are you can use your favorite app or player as long as it has Bluetooth. Your USB port stays free but again the downsides are you have to fiddle around with that player or phone so you get distracted from the road and uh, you have two volume controls on that device and in your car. The pros for the thumb drive version are that you have only one volume control. Only the car stereo adjusts your volume. It's easy to reach, no fiddling around. The pros are you're plugging your USB port with a thumb drive, so there's no option to use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. The last option is using an Android Auto or Apple CarPlay compatible app and uh, the respective uh, playback option through USB. And the advantages are uh, it's easy to use through the touchscreen of the car. You can adjust your volume through the car and the steering wheel and you get uh, graphics in the car. You have full control over your phone, switching between navigation and media player, adjusting volume. The only downside is that you are constantly charging your phone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, click like if you like it and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm planning on doing more Kona and other EV topic related videos and other things as well. Uh, if you have any questions about the car or suggestions for videos, please let me know down in the comments. Thank you.